And when we're told over and over and over again, nothing's more important than family. And the thing that my mother did was she would point at people doing exactly what she was doing and say, I'm not doing that. Look at how unhappy that kid is. Like, right. uh, you know, you're like I'm not a stage mom like that kid's stage mom is. It wasn't until like maybe three years ago, I saw a movie with a, with a kid in it who was one of my contemporaries when we were kid actors. And this kid, if I said his name, every single person uh, of my age group who was going on auditions would be like, oh my God, that poor kid. And that kid's awful fucking mother. Like we all know this kid. There are, if there, uh, if our mutuals are listening to this, they're like, they know exactly who I'm they talking, know what you're about, talking right? about, right? I saw him in a movie and I had a flashback. Like um, all of time compressed and I was not sitting on the couch in my game room watching this, this kid in a movie. I was a little boy in the auditions, just hundreds of auditions where this kid is every single time. And I can see the fear and the sadness and the pain in, him, in everything about him. Wow. I, I remember his mother smacking him, physically slapping him in the hallway outside auditions and screaming at him that he wasn't whatever, you know, he just wasn't enough one way or another. And my mom always making a really big deal about how like, well, I'm not like that, right? Isn't that something? You could have it worse. Yeah. You could have it worse. You have a house a roof over your head. Yeah, you totally. don't eat every night. Yeah. It makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I, I'm acting like an asshole. So I, I, in the midst of this movie, I suddenly realized that there's just no difference between me and this kid when we're little kids on auditions. The only difference is my mom is on, a, is on better behavior in public. My mom doesn't hit me, but my dad does. My dad hits me all the time. But like my mom doesn't, you know? She is protecting her like investment, I guess, <laughs> you know, she's like making sure that this- Or that making this, this, herself look good in front yeah, of the people and that's, to the outside world. Yeah, the, like one of her defining characteristics is like, what will the neighbors think? You know, like it doesn't matter what the truth is, what do they think? Yeah. So I had this, I had this flashback that was, it was terrible. And I spent a few days in like a massive, massive crisis because of it. And when I came through it, and got through the other side, it was like I had, I had admitted to myself and I had confronted this thing that was really painful and, and had been like looming over me my entire life, which was that huge lie. And that was when I realized, and it became, and it really crystallized inside of me that I was never wrong. I was never, it was never I was, your I, fault. I was, it was never my fault. I was no different than that kid. Like he didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there. Our mothers were making us be there. The only difference is that he, like his path took him into like, you know, B movies and my path took me to someplace different. But like, as far as it goes, as it relates to our, to our moms, there was no difference there. 